one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. UFC welterweight champion. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise of the fighter beating. He is focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender tonight. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Carl Guzman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage. And now our kill the date for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> It's not broken. Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Lands a nice jab there. Nice. Nicely done. And a miss with the right hook. Is this one minute into the fight, and we got a full on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So, right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Jab. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Nice takedown. There you go. In the half 
yard. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Big ground and pound. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, another strike lands from the top. And there you go, again, half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Massive shot from the top. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. There it is, now he's going to mount. Under two minutes to go. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. This is where he wants to be. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Big right hook there by the champ. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. He's having his way with him here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Attempting an off bar here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tapping. It's starting to get really tight in there. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed tall. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh! He got him hurt bad here. Oh! Huge left. Oh my goodness! Uh, what a round! Take a deep breath. Nice job out there. He's exhausted. Your ground control is unstoppable. Whatever you want to do down there, you can do. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Second ahead. round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, could get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now get back off the stool to start the next round. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, he continues to do it. Oh, he's wobbling now. Back to his feet. Oh, up a cut. Not there. Both of them landing massive shots. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and ball. 
Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and then showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Nice crack there. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Great timing on that double leg. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Nice positional control here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Oh, he gets him in! Oh, somehow, some way, he got out! These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running a guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's like a target, and he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Lands the ground and pound strike. Seconds winding down in round two. What a strike from off of his back. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Nice. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands. The speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spot where his opponent is really punching. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Now going upstairs with the left hook. On the 
shot. There you go, single leg. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attaches submissions or big ground and pound. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Uh, watch the arm, the arm bar going up. What a tight arm bar. Oh, he's got a strong grip on that arm. He's starting he start to extend the elbow. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Oh, good ground and pound here. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. I'm trying to recover full guard there. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice strike from the bottom fighter there. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Oh, he's really starting to... Oh! And that will do it! Wow! Wow! What a result in Rio, a stunner! All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 17 seconds of round number three. He played the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Antonio. All right, so there is a new world order at 170 pounds. Congrats to the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. I can't say I'm surprised. We've seen this guy on his journey to this championship. At every step, he looked fantastic. And tonight, that continued in dethroning the long-reigning champion.